and welcome to the channel everybody. In this video, uh, I want to talk about my Fnatic Club Sport Universal Hub for Xbox. I got this probably late last year, might, might have been September or something. I did a unboxing first impressions kind of video, uh, which I, I did go into a bit more detail about all the buttons and um, the shifters and everything. I don't really want to go over that too much again. Um, obviously, I'll show you the basics in this video. Um, you've got your, oh, it's hard to do on the screen here. Uh, your rotary encoder here as well as your, your d-pad all the buttons which you can uh, move around a little bit uh, or take off completely if you wanted to uh, which does correlate to these buttons up here you've got your screen here which does uh, pop off uh, you can put it down flat as well if you wanted to like that uh, if you wanted that cleaner look and you're sitting above it uh, I however am not I wouldn't be able to see it down like that so I, I leave it up like that uh, this is the R300 wheel I really really like the look of this wheel um, looks really good uh, with all the gold uh, gold gold this particular one is the V1 so it has the non interchangeable quick release here uh, so if you're looking at getting a V2 then that will actually come separate and you can interchange that between QR1 and QR2. Um, also, it has the older shifters here, which I've just got some aftermarket bolt-on ones here from eBay, actually. Uh, but V2s will come with magnetic, um, just straight off the bat. So yeah, if you're looking for a V2, v2 um, the only real difference is magnetic from factory and uh, interchangeable quick release uh, so this video will pretty much cater for whether you're looking for v1 or v2 other than that they're, they're pretty much the same i think the firmware is upgradable on the v2 uh, whereas the v1 it is not um, which does bring up some issues with the CSL DD, which I'll go into a little bit later. Now first up, in terms of looks, oh, it looks pretty good, uh, but that really depends on the wheel you're, you're strapping to it. Uh, usability wise, the, these buttons can be a little bit out of the way sometimes, especially if you're using some of the ones down here. Um, with this, I use it as my traction control, just the rotary encoder going up and down, obviously the D-pad as well. Um, and then these for my brake bias and my ABS, which isn't ideal. Being a universal hub so you can strap on multiple different rims does have its uh, issues. You obviously can't strap any buttons to the front of it like my McLaren GT3 V2 wheel here. Um, I when I switch over to the Club Sport Universal Hub, I do miss all these rotor encoders and the little uppy and downies, and I also miss the uh, bite point clutch as well, actually. But you can upgrade the Universal Hub to have this, of course, with the advanced paddle module. But I I, ha I don't really want to spend money on the Universal Hub at the moment because it's got some issues, which again, I'll, I'll go into in a sec. But if you're getting the, the V2 of that room, then you'll have a similar quick release to this, um, where it screws onto the back. Now, something I did mention in my unboxing and uh, quick look video that I, I said I'd cover is the weight. It is a bit heavier than the, the McLaren JT3 wheel. So how much do you lose on the, the feedback and everything on this? Uh, look, I'm running a CSL DD with the, the boost kit, the eight Newton meters. And I find I might lose a little bit down low 
Um, obviously not, not the big shunts and all that, but a little bit of the fidelity down low. You do lose with a heavier, heavier rim like this. Is it too much to be concerned about? Probably not with the CSL DD running at uh, 8 newton meters. It might running 5. It, you might lose a bit more running 5 newton meters. Or CSL Elite, you might lose a little bit more too. Um, I, I would probably recommend more CSL DD 8 newton meters and up with this. Uh, DD1, DD2, you're fine with this. Uh, I don't think you'll be losing too much uh, fidelity on those. In terms of usability wise though, it's more usable because you can strap any rim on it as well. So if you're looking for one, one rim, well not rim, one wheel hub to kind of do everything, you can strap a different rim on it for racing GT3s, you can strap a different rim on it for Formula 1. It does a little bit of everything. But because of that, it's compromised at the same time uh, with some of the buttons. Now, compatibility. This is my biggest issue with the Club Sport Universal Hub V1. Now, if you've got a V2, then the chances are this isn't going to be an issue for you. Uh, but being a V1 and on their older firmware that is not upgradable, um, they effectively need to, to make the CSL DD work with that and it, it actually doesn't work well with it. Um, many times I, I, I put the rim on and it's just none of the buttons. I can press all the buttons and they, none of them work. Um, I can't get into the tuning menu, the, uh, the display doesn't work. Like, it's just effectively dead. Now, Fnatic did fix this in a firmware update a little while ago. And it was okay after that. Sometimes I did get a flickering screen still. And then it, all of a sudden it wasn't a flickering screen. And then it was a flickering screen. It was... But other than that, it still worked. Mostly. Recently, I've gone to firmware 34, I think it is. Um, and it's pretty much stopped working now again. Uh, nearly every time I use that room, I have to reinstall the firmware and then it comes back alive again. Uh, it does have a flicky screen, but I can use it at least. But it's just annoying every time I want to use that room. Nearly every time I have to just reinstall the firmware. So yeah compatibility with the CSL DD is off and on at the time of filming it's annoying and I practically don't really use it much at the moment because of that um, and, and that's why I've been waiting out so long to do the review on this room is because it just hasn't worked flawlessly uh, throughout the entire time I've had it with the CSL DD if you're you, you've got a DD1, DD2, um, Club Sport, um, Wheelbase or something. Like, you're, you're probably going to be fine. No problems. But for some reason, the CSL DD seems to have issues with this particular rim. And it's intermittent. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Other people are getting similar issues. Will it ever be properly fixed? I don't know. Um, it's been out for... Is it four months now? Maybe five. At the time of filming, um, it's still not 100% fixed. So just bear that in mind if maybe you're watching this video because you, you found one on the used market, a V1, and uh, you want to strap it to your new CSL DD. Having owned it, I, I probably would say, at the, at the moment, stay clear. Uh, it's just uh, probably buy a V2 um, Universal Hub spend a bit more uh, get the V2 you're probably not going to have issues with it then uh, but the V1 there's still issues uh, with the non upgradable firmware it has on it if it wasn't for the compatibility issues with my CSL today 
Um, I, I would probably use it a bit more often. Unfortunately, I, I don't. Uh, just simply because of the compatibility issues. Most of the time I do have my McLaren GT3 wheel strapped onto this wheelbase and that's because it just works um, and it does have a few more dials and uh, buttons. The, but I mostly drive GT3 cars and like uh, that kind of car, if you're, you're racing rally or, or trucks or something then you know you, you're not going to like the gt3 wheel the uh mclaren gt3 wheel but uh if you you mainly just drive those kind of cars then i would say go the mclaren gt3 wheel but yeah at the moment that that's about all i can say on the club sport universal hub uh, I, I would have liked to be a little bit brighter on it um, but it's just the compatibility issues for me more than anything uh, still really like using it, but uh, it's just more work when I have to, unfortunately. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, everybody. Hit that like button if you like to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next video.